Mamma mia, prepare your taste buds for a slice of heaven. Experience the best of Uncle Sam. Greetings, agents. We uncovered something I think you're going to find interesting. We were tracking an informant through the Canyon Desert Mountains by the name of Tommy Two Shoes. Two Shoes gets his name because of the place he likes to hide his secret messages. <laughs> sort of gives it away if you ask me. We found this little gem inside the heel of his shoe. So how does this impact us? We did some digging and found this. God's special people, the Israelites, were slaves in Egypt. It was a hard life, but God rescued them and led them into the desert. He gave them his instructions for how to live. I was able to figure out where God was leading them. This is classified top secret, so keep this quiet. God was bringing them to a special land called Canaan. But the Israelites kept disobeying God, ignoring God's instructions, sinning. So instead of letting them enter the land he promised, God had them wander in the wilderness for 40 years. Can you imagine being so close to something so great, but not being able to see it? Great, but unseen. Kind of like you when you're undercover. So the Israelites were wandering. They sometimes obeyed God, but disobeyed God a whole lot. At one point, they were uh, tired and impatient, and they started complaining against God and against their leader, Moses. They griped about wanting to go back to being slaves in Egypt. They griped about the food God provided for them from heaven every day called manna. Charlie, what did they say about it? They said, we hate this awful food. God even provided water for them in a desert. That's not what deserts are known for. God was saving them in miraculous ways. The data on the Israelites indicates they were missing how often God was saving them. In fact, they turned against God, like double agents. So we wanted to learn how God responded. Then I remembered he was called Tommy Two Shoes. When we checked the second heel, we found this. Two Shoes had the whole report right here. He was not happy when we found it. Turns out God sent venomous snakes. You heard right, many of the Israelites died. The people knew they had sinned and that only God could save them. They went to Moses and said, we sinned when we spoke against the Lord and against you. Pray that the Lord will take the snakes away from us. Moses was a good leader. What do good leaders do? They pray. My source can verify, God hears our prayers. God told Moses to make a snake out of bronze and put it up on a pole. Probably something like this. He told Moses, if anyone bitten by the snakes looks at the bronze snake, they would live. Moses followed his instructions. And just like God said, those who had been bitten by the snakes were saved when they looked at the bronze snake. God saved his people a few times in this story. He saved them from slavery. He gave them food from heaven. He gave them water in a desert. But after analysis, I think saving the people from the snake bites is the most powerful. Here's why. I found a conversation between Jesus and a man named Nicodemus. Jesus is the son of God. That means we could trust what he says. Charlie, what did he say to Nicodemus? Just as the Israelites looked up at the snake and were saved, anyone who believes in him will have eternal life. It 
It's like a code. God who saved his people from the venom of the snakes would one day save us, also his people, from our sins. That's why God sent us Jesus. Jesus is God too. He's the only one with that kind of power. Only God saves. This is high priority intel agents. Do not let this material fall into the wrong hands.